Hey guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel if you have been here before. I am Safinx and in today's video we are going to be watching my speed build of Rapunzel's Tower. Um, I don't know why I had the idea to build Rapunzel's Tower, but I did. <laughs> and I enjoyed it so much, it was completely different. Ha disclaimer, disclaimer. When I was building it, I didn't take into account the fact that the tower I built at the top was super small. So the interior is not the same. If you wanted me to build the interior only of Rapunzel's tower, I absolutely will. That would be completely fine. But I didn't take it into account, built everything, did all the outside, and then I couldn't change it. I did try, but it just looked terrible. So... I did my best for now. I can redo it one day. I will. Um, I did a lot of playing around with terrain in this one. I was going off of the Tangled Tower. So not like any old uh, Rapunzel film towers. I was going off the one from Tangled. Um, there is a little like pond next to the tower there's a little waterfall so we had to add all of that in um obviously it is completely hidden i couldn't do that so it's not completely hidden um however i did add quite a lot of terrain as per usual lots of flowers i got rid of all of the hours it took me to place all these stones and get them perfect the waterfall I placed it so that the stones were there in the way and it was really fun the waterfall is in debug it is I believe actually from the university pack I'll correct myself if I'm wrong but I do believe that it is from the university pack I thought that it was the one from island living there is one from island living but it wasn't the one that I was looking for there are actually from what I can tell at least three water fountain uh, waterfalls so yeah that's what that's from i had a play with a lot of debug items uh to begin with when i built the original uh lake pond river pond what would you call that probably a pond yeah pond um and then i lost them all because i didn't save before i went from build mode to live mode you know when you're in managed world like free building I then went to live mode and uh yeah it didn't save so that's okay you didn't have to watch it but I did have to tell you obviously because it was a sad moment this boat isn't in it but I really liked it so I was like yeah I'm gonna add that there are just some really nice items in debug I learned for the first time while building this that I was stupid for not <laughs> I learned that I was stupid <laughs> I was stupid for not putting the hack show live edit objects on because that meant that I didn't have access to all of the um terrain like plants and things uh, and the waterfalls and all that kind of stuff I only had access to like pots and pans and the logs and so it's changed my life let me just tell you that it's changed my life but I spent probably a good hour and a half to two hours fixing that waterfall so that it worked perfectly with the pond you're welcome for me cutting it all out I think the build itself probably took around four hours um which isn't actually that bad to be honest it could have been worse it could have been a lot more I placed a lot of terrain along the side of this I don't really know why I just wanted it to look a little bit less like just up you know, I wanted it to look like the plants were growing up the hill. Um, I always leave all of my land just like completely flat when I do my builds. So I'm, I'm working on raising them, having bumps and things like that. And I found so many things during my time doing this build in the debug items for terrain that would have gone perfect in my barn build triggering I know it also while you're building it it gives you inspiration to build other things because you're like wow I could use this on this and I could use this on that and all that kind of stuff but I have saved you a headache of all the so long that it took me to place all of these items I also use the same mod that I always do I will link it down below how you download it or where you download it um so, oh this mod is amazing must have taken such a long time to actually make People that can code are just 
incredible people, really. People that can make these, people that make custom content. My hero, you're my hero completely. So I tried really hard with the outside to get it as close to the original as I could. Um, there are a few bits that weren't possible. If I had made this a lot bigger, as in the original just structure a lot bigger, this would have worked fine, but I didn't. And also you can only go four levels up now. I'm telling you on The Sims 3, I don't think there was a limit. Why is there one on The Sims 4? Hmm? You tell me, today I'm being healthy, we are drinking water. It's the same day that I was drinking coffee and energy drinks, by the way. I'm so lazy, I couldn't even be bothered to change my t-shirt. Usually I just change my t-shirt when I do videos. I have four videos to record today, so the next four are probably me on the same day. There you go. <laughs> I also, there's probably going to be quite a lot of cuts in here and it's because I kept cutting to look at the pictures. I now have used my brain. I know, shock. I've used my brain and I now have my iPad next to me at all times with the reference pictures on. So it will be a pause, but it will be easier to cut out than the screen going black. And then sometimes it flashes black for a second because I'll really quickly look and then I'll, and then I'll go back and Streamlabs can't like quite carry, like catch up with what I'm doing so yeah there's that <laughs> I had it in live mode for quite a while so you'll see people running around I just love I just love that there's a waterfall on this lot it just makes me so happy and it's like it took me a while to find the waterfall as well it was taking me ages and ages and ages and then I saw these just like weird blue looking things and I was like mm, could be could be and it was so that was good the worst part of this build, 100%, the worst part of this build was putting all of the plants up the outside. I just checked that she could get up the build, by the way. That was what I was doing just then. But that was absolutely the worst part of the build, completely. It took a long time, but also it doesn't quite line up because the walls are, like, like blocking around. It, The vines that go up one wall obviously don't look like they're going to connect to the next wall, and it's 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 quite annoying to be honest it is quite annoying <sighs> mm, i can smell food it's uh 7 30 we're having dinner soon i can't wait we're having fajitas fajitas yum yum what are you having for dinner tell me tell me do you know what you're having for dinner i always know what i'm having for dinner i love that i can cook for myself it, whatever whatever I crave I just cook when I get home sometimes I crave nothing though as in like I, I don't have a craving and then I'm like oh what should I cook you feel me or no it depends if you live on your own or not I live with my boyfriend we have our own place pretty much um so yeah we we cook up for ourselves and clean for ourselves and we have a dog so that's like a good perk where do you live not where do you live don't put where you live what like do you live with your mum and dad do you live on your own do you live with your other half do you live with your friends do you just live with dog cat rabbit tortoise let me know but don't put where you live okay please <laughs> you never know who's out there never tell them mm -mm. I always put cardamom pods in my rice I've already said that I know but I just had to cut a little bit out because I edited this video badly as per usual but I can smell them. Yum. I don't think cardamom pods in rice is quite right for Mexican food, but I'm not very good at flavoring rice. You know, what do you put in rice to flavor them? I did have a little bit of a play. I cut it out. I was trying to figure out how to put like little stepping stones along the floor. So I just used normal stones and tried to sink it into the ground, but that looked absolutely dreadful today I found something that would probably work for stepping stones in the ground it wasn't a necessity so I'm not going to change it on here however just you know future reference and all that stuff I'm unsure when I'm going to be posting this so it might be before or after Halloween it might be before or after my magic house weird cuts cut there but it's okay we'll ignore it um <laughs> 
This was to me decorating the inside. Can you see my struggle, how small this was? There is no bathroom on this lot, by the way, so that's a problem. Uh, didn't fix that problem because, you know, it's me. We don't do that here. So there's not a bathroom. We could probably put one of those uh, bushes outside that you can, like, pee in and woohoo in and, you know. Um, and then maybe a sink in the kitchen. I didn't add a sink to the kitchen either. I thought about all of this afterwards when I was editing the video, like I usually do. I should just build a bit, wait a bit, like edit the first part of the video, then like build some more because I always find things to do that I should have done to begin with. Uh, I kept the bed as a single bed. It was more of a princessy bed. I thought that was really pretty. This is nothing, nothing like the interior of the tower in Tangled. Um, but you know, the outside looks good and you know me, that's what I like. I had a lot of a play around with this. I was moving everything around a lot. I was, when I looked down just then, I was considering building a bathroom down there. I was considering cutting a little bit out on the upstairs to build a bathroom. There was a lot of considering going on. Um, not a lot of doing going on, to be honest. But the decor upstairs, other than there not being a bathroom, looked pretty good and we had everything that we needed. I also found the um, saucepans that are like on the wall, which I was like, we have to have that because you know when she smacks that guy over the head. Oh, oh my gosh, I just saw it. Sorry, excuse me there. So I downloaded, <laughs> I finally downloaded the shelf mod, you know, the red shelf that you can place put loads of items on and then remove it and it just stay, all the items stay where they are. I finally downloaded it, but I couldn't figure out where it was. Silly me, I know. Uh, but I just saw it watching this video back. <laughs> Isn't it funny how you learn things that way? <laughs> Silly me. So yeah, I kept, so the painting that I put near the wall is supposed to be above the fire. The walls weren't high enough. If I raised the walls up, they looked super weird. So I put the painting near the bed. That was supposed to be the like lights, you know, if you've watched Tangled. Um, she paints a painting of some floating lanterns that she always sees. And she says she wants to go and see either the lights or the stars. I think she says the lights. I put these pillars up as well because there is a lot of pillars on the inside of the house. And there is just paint, paintings everywhere. So I added the extra... Um, like canvases to the side of the room and we added an easel later. I also made the window that she like climbs down from a balcony instead because I didn't think that the windows that we had quite, quite cut it. So I did it as a little balcony that would be cold in the winter, very cold in the winter. I started moving everything around so that you could actually walk in the building. And then we added a final easel and I think that's pretty much it. That is my whole build, I think. It is. I love this so much. I really hope you did too. Only one person has downloaded it so far, but the video hasn't gone up yet. So what do you think? Does it feel Disney to you? Because it feels Disney to me. And I put a lot of effort into that waterfall. So, you know, thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed this one. I really, really enjoyed building it. I hope you think I'm improving too, because I, I think I'm improving too. Leave a like if you did enjoy the video. You can download this. This is up on my little library for you to download if you would like to. Comment down below, answer to my random questions. Subscribe if you want to see more. There will be better videos to come. Thank you for joining me today. Goodbye.